Welcome to this video tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this segment I will show you how to create a sequence using SQL Developer. A sequence is an optional object that can be used to generate integer values. These integer values can be used when values need to be generated such as primary key column values. To begin with, I will launch SQL De Developer and create a connection with the database. I here I have a connection called C1 and I'm going to connect to the user HR through this connection. After the connection has gone through, what you can what you will see is a list of all the different objects that belong to the user HR. I'm going to choose the option of sequences expand it so I can see the list of sequences that are already available within the schema. To create a new sequence, I would right click sequences and choose the option new sequence. The create database sequence window will be displayed. Here I can mention the name of the sequence. I'm calling the sequence as cust underscore seq because I want to associate the sequence with my customer table. I begin by defining its properties. The start with value is the first value that will be generated by the sequence. I'm going to put in the value 1000. The increment value identifies what the step value for the sequence would be. If I want the next va second value generated by the sequence to be 1001, I will define the increment to be 1. The third value will then be 1002 and so on. The max value identifies the maximum value that the sequence will take. A sequence can be made to cycle. A sequence that cycles will, will return after it has reached its max value with the min value. Now when you are creating a sequence, for primary key column values, it is not a good idea to create a sequence that would cycle. So in this case, I'm not going to select cycle and neither am I going to specify a min value. You can have a sequence cache values in memory by choosing the option of cache. And once you choose the option of cache, you can identify the number of sequence values that you want cached in memory at any, any given time by identifying the cache size. To complete the creation of the sequence, I'm going to now select the OK button and the sequence that I just created will be added to the list of sequences available in this schema. I'm selecting the sequence name and what I get is a tab on the right side panel which gives me the details of the sequence that I have just created. For completion's sake, I will show you how a sequence can be used within a table. I'm going to use the sequence to insert a row into my customer table. To show you what exists in the customer table, I'm going to expand on tables and pull up the customer table. At this time, the customer table has got six columns, but what I'm going to do is insert a row by only passing values for the first three columns of this table. There is absolutely no data existing in the table, so if I create my first row using the sequence, the customer number should appear as 1000. I'm going to now write an insert statement that would insert a row into the customer table by passing values only for a few columns of the table, such as cust number, first name, and last name. Now, when you are trying to generate the first value of the sequence, we make use of a pseudo column called nextval. And the usage of that is sequence name dot nextval. And here I'm referencing the sequence name cust underscore seq dot nextval. The name of the customer is, I'm just providing a name. And for, as far, for the last name, I'm also providing a last name. I've completed my insert statement. I'm now going to execute the statement and it tells me one row inserted. Taking you back to the customer table's data, 
I'm going to refresh this window and here you can see that the first customer that was added was customer 1000, name Claire, uh, first name Claire, last name Rajan. In this tutorial, I showed you how to create a customer and use the value of the, of, of the sequence inside a table. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For more tutorials, videos and articles, please visit our website at www.oraclecoach.com. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.